thousand days. <laughs> a thousand wonders to raise your spirits. Minus one. Energy. Talk about Ting Yun. So most of you guys, especially if you guys have been rolling on the Jin Yuen banner, have probably gotten lucky and got a Ting Yun and you're wondering how to build her. Light cones, recommended traces to level up and prioritize, team comps, or maybe even relics, main stats to focus on, substats, etc. We're going to cover all of that in this video. She is a surprisingly easy character to build and versatile character at that. She's a very good four-star harmony lightning character that you can provide in your team comp and hell, pretty much any single team comp out there and i would highly recommend using ting yun with genuine because it makes your genuine experience a whole lot better all right let's quickly hop over to light cones here so first and foremost let's talk about the five star everyone's favorite but the battle isn't over Branya's signature light cone you are increasing your energy regeneration rate by 10 which is really good for her because more energy for ting yun basically means more energy for anyone you end up choosing you're also regenerating one skill when the wearer uses their ultimate so that's also good for skill management on top of that, whenever the wearer uses their skill, the next ally taking action will be dealing 30% more damage for one turn, which is really great to combo with her E because her E already increases damage for your DPS. So if your DPS is going to be taking the next action and you can coordinate this properly with your speed on Ting Yun with your DPS's speed, that's a lot of damage being added to your DPS. 100% would recommend but the battle isn't over of course it's a five star so let's hop over to the four star light cones here rather i would recommend dance 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 as probably the best four star to run on ting yun whenever you're using your ultimate all of your allies actions are being advanced by 16 percent very simple it's a gotcha light cone so keep that in mind i don't have it yet unfortunately but if you do highly recommend that as their best in slot i also like past and future it's a free light cone you end up getting and you can superimpose it with the forgotten halls and just maybe getting lucky on weekly bosses and stuff like that whenever the wearer uses their skill the next ally taking action deals 16 percent increased damage for one turn or 32 percent you will be able to superimpose this quite easily and this is basically like the mini brania light cone that we just took a look at now keep in mind when you're using your skill on ting yun for your dps make sure that the other dps character has enough speed to go second guaranteed so like for example if your ting yun has 130 speed make sure your other DPS has 128 speed. I have had a situation where I'm running this on Asta and my DPS has like 130 speed, but my Asta has 125 speed. I'm not benefiting from this and my healer or my tank is the one benefiting from this. So just keep that in mind. You do have to kind of coordinate with your speed on your Harmony character versus the speed on your Hunt character. And then this is still a good light cone that I could recommend. Now, some other ones that I want to throw in, Planetary Rendezvous. Upon battle entry, if an ally deals the same type of damage as the wearer, aka lightning, damage dealt increases by 12%. 24 if you superimpose it to 5. This could be a good light cone you could try out with your Jin Yuen. It seems like perfect synergy if you are running this with your Jin Yuen. And if you have battle pass, the harmony one is also a good pick. Either all allies get their attack increase, crit damage, or energy regeneration rate. I always try to recommend for battle pass hunt, harmony, or erudition as my three go-tos. So this does fall in my top three list for battle pass light cone. Three star light cones. If you had to pick, I like chorus at an S5 three star. You should be able to easily get that. All of your allies' attack will be increased by 12%. Pretty simple. So again, just to cover everything, battle isn't over. Dance, dance, dance past and future if you don't have dance 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 and then if you want to try something out with like a genuine team comp with ting yun planetary rendezvous hell maybe if you can run like a mono electro team comp in the future we can come back and talk about this one so let's hop into traces really quick and let's talk about what they end up doing all right so your skill is basically your damage increase and you're always going to be trying to prioritize putting this on your damage dealers aka your hunt characters maybe your erudition characters whoever it might be you're getting an attack increase up to ting yun's current attacks you are building her with attack and then whenever the ally with the benediction attacks they will be dealing additional lightning damage one time now this benediction does last three times so while the skill is up you're gonna be finding yourself auto attacking with ting yun quite a bit it's good because you're able to generate some skill points back for your team before you end up using that skill again so 
skill and ultimate is what I would prioritize here as your first two to upgrade. Your ultimate is regenerating energy for a single ally and increasing that target's damage by 20%. That percentage goes up more times you upgrade your ultimate for two turns. Talent, I would also prioritize. Overall, every one of these talents are good or traces for Ting Yun. Whenever an ally is attacked or an enemy is attacked, the ally with that benediction immediately deals additional lightning damage equal to 30% of that ally's attack to the same enemy. So more damage. And then, of course, your basic attacks. Yes, Ting Yun is one of the characters that I would recommend leveling up her basic attack. Because like I said, using your skill, it lasts for three turns while that is slowly counting down. Just keep using basic attacks, generate more skill points, wait until you have to reapply this to your damage dealer, and you're good to go. There's other traces here that I think are really good. Ting Yun's speed increase by 20% for one turn upon using her skill. Immediately regenerating energy at the start of her turn is also really great because more energy means more alt, and more alts for you means more energy for the entire team on whoever you want to pick for and then, of course, basic attack damage increasing by 40%. Ting Yun is one of the characters that I would recommend getting all of these four and leveling them up as you go. Because overall, her traces seem pretty stacked. But if I were to pick, I'd be going for that alt and skill if you're like a little lower on funds. I'd be putting those as like a higher priority, I suppose. All right, let's quickly talk about relics for Ting Yun. She's a very simple character to build. All you want to do is just stack more attack for her. So the best set is going to be the Musketeer of Wild Wheat. Two piece, you're increasing your attack by 12% and... The wearer's speed increases by 6%. More speed is good. Your basic attack damage also increases by 10%, which three times out of five, she's going to be basic attacking because you're waiting until you use your E ability again on your main DPS. Main stats for the headpiece is going to be HP. Can't change that. Attack for the gloves. You are going to be running attack percent for the chest piece here. Yes. And then you're going to be running speed for the boots. Now, for the other pieces here, for the sphere, you are going to be running attack percent. Just ignore this we have it on uh this is different you're going to be running attack percent on the sphere and you're going to be running energy regeneration rate for the main stat energy regen you're only able to get energy regen on the rope 100 percent recommend running that on ting yun so you can get your ultimate back a little bit faster in terms of the two piece set for these right here first of all you have fleet of the ageless you're increasing your max hp by 12 percent and i would recommend because she is a squishy character so you might find her dying more often than not whenever your speed reaches 120 or higher which you will be able to she has a base speed of 112 so very easy to get her speed up there plus if you're running five star speed boots the main stat alone should carry you up to 137 speed on ting yun so you're guaranteed getting this all of your allies attack will be increased by eight percent so Fleet of the Ageless is an option. If you want to go with Energy Regeneration Rate, this is also a very solid option. You're increasing your Energy Regen by 5%. And whenever the wearer's speed reaches 120 or higher, your action is advanced by 40% immediately upon entering battle. Now, do keep this in mind. It's only for the first fight. But you are guaranteeing that you are going to be the first one to take action. And you're also getting that Energy Regen as like a little side bonus so those are the two sets i would recommend for ting yun if you are running her in your team comps all right very quickly for the substats you should be looking out for for ting yun i would prioritize speed and attack as your highest priority effect resist so you're able to actually avoid those debuffs so you can keep your team buffed up and either regenerate energy for someone if you need to stay away stay out of harm's way and either hp or defense for more survivability because like i said ting yun is a very squishy character so you're, you're probably going to find yourself dying more often than not so hp as a substat or defense would also help her for survivability's sake all right let's wrap things up with eidolons for ting yun e1 after using her ultimate which is the energy gain and damage increase the ally with the benediction gains a 20 percent increase in speed for one turn really good e2 is the ally with benediction regenerates five energy after defeating an enemy also really good and that could be great for genuine as well once per turn e4 is uh the benediction increases by 20 percent e6 is 60 energy versus 50 energy so your ultimate at base level currently gives you 50 energy with e6 you're getting 60 instead so overall all of her eidolons are extremely good and useful if you manage to get lucky and get those and ting yun as a character is a very very
very good four star character that you can bring in your team comp in any team comp at that matter she's a very simple easy character to build because you're just building attack percent and she's very flexible and you can run her in literally any team comp if you're trying to run her in a japard team comp and japard is the only tank on the team no healer right you could run her on that team comp and whenever japard needs energy back to get his ultimate to put a shield up so everyone stays alive you could te technically do that maybe your team is about to die but your natasha is like so close to her ultimate you didn't get there pop ting yun's ultimate give it to natasha let natasha heal everyone stays alive you have flexible options right su shang you pop her chicken you get another turn you attack you use ting yun put it on su shang she gets to get another <laughs> ultimate she's a very flexible four star character any team comp works so i'm going to say that you can run her in literally everything in any team comp She's a very good character, easy to build. Traces are all good. Eidolons are all good. I can't really say anything bad about her. If you got her, please invest in her. That's my Ting Yoon build. That's my Ting Yoon guide. Hopefully this clears up any answers for anyone or questions that you guys might have for those of you who are just getting Ting Yoon for the first time. If you guys have any more questions or anything like that, feel free to type it down in the comment section below or join us over on Twitch. We're live every single day. Ask us anything. Uh, would love to have you guys over there. With that being said, I thank you guys for watching. Apologies, my sore throat is here. You guys didn't notice. And I will catch you guys in the next one.